In this video, I'm going to show you how you can draw level curves in Desmos. So uh, punch this um, this surface into Google, uh, punch it in there, and then it will give you this surface. It will then give you this surface. So when you look at this, um, the origin is actually here, and this is your x-axis, this is your y-axis, and straight up would be your z-axis. So when you look at this, uh, when you when you look at this, you can imagine the z as being um, f of x comma y. These two are exactly the same thing. And when you see this, picture this in your head. It's like a machine or a function. Um, you input x, input y, and then it will spit out a value z. So a z represents a height. So if you if you want to draw the level curves, let's say um, when the level is one. If you want to know what happens uh, to level 1, put the number 1 into the Z. So um, so along all along here, you have an elevation of 1. So when you draw the, um, the uh, level curves, it would be like this. So this will have a circle of radius 1, because this is an equation of a circle of radius 1. And um, if you want to know what happens at, at an elevation of 2, put 2 into the z, put 2 into the z, so an elevation of 2, you see all along here we have a, an elevation of 2, so um, so this you can see is a circle of radius root 2, of radius root 2, so uh, this is 2 here, root 2 is probably somewhere around here, so um, hang on, somewhere, somewhere around here, hang on, somewhere around here so um, so this will have a circle radius root 2 and then if you want to know um, the elevation at a height of 3 so put 3 into the z here let's just say 3 is here so all along here it will have an elevation of 3 so uh, so when when you're at an elevation of 3 it means that your circle is of radius 3 so uh, radius 3 somewhere around here so this here will have so radius of root 3 so uh, this will have a, a radius of root 3 so let's let's draw this in Desmos so uh, in Desmos uh, so in Desmos if you have uh, if you punch in um, hang on, uh, 1 equals x squared plus y squared y squared it will look like this. So, so here you have um, uh, an elevation of one, meaning you have a circle of radius one. And then, if you change this to uh, root two, s q r t two, then uh, that will give you an elevation of two. But um, a better way of drawing uh, um, level curves in decimals would be this squared bracket, and then uh, let's say from uh, zero. And then three dots, one, two, three, and then up to let's say four. So um, hang on. So close square bracket. Then there, it will. Uh, this will be your level curve um, for for zero to four. So if you want if you want more curves, then um, take it to six, or take it to s seven or ten. Take it to ten if you want. So um, learn to use this um, this squared bracket thing. Um, let me give you another example. If you want to draw a straight line, let's say y equals um, equals uh, x two x plus c plus c, and then uh, you can either manually change c like this. Um, in, so instead of doing c, instead of doing c, instead of manually inserting C like 2 or an intercept of 4 you can just do this squared bracket and then uh, uh, neg from negative hang on from negative 2 and then 3 dots 1 2 3 and then to 5 and then automatic it will automatically um, scan from negative 2 to 5 okay so learn to use these squared brackets thing